Hey everybody, welcome back. I am the Eagle Fan and this is my channel. I am sorry I've been away for a while. It's been a little bit of a rough time, so I do apologize. But I am trying to get back and start making videos again. You should also hopefully see a return of Soren and Scratch in a little bit more. We are working on some ideas as well. So welcome back. With that said, today, this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. This is not going to be a reaction. It'll be more of a re-watching and a review, and I'll add some of my own comments throughout. This is something, this is a song that I absolutely love. And it's also in honor and to celebrate the good news that we've gotten recently to hear that Miss Flory Jansen is doing well. This is, and I act like it's a surprise, even though everybody saw it in the thumbnail and the description and title. A little bit of Nightwish. Ghost Love Score live at Vakken. This is like the holy grail of concerts, at least in my opinion. Sorry, had one of our dogs come in and you probably heard her as she was shaking off something uh, before she was laying down here at my feet. She's a good dog. But let's first get over to this other screen. There we go. So, I'm ready for this. Are you ready? Let's do this.
Okay. That might be a decent enough spot to stop. God, I am going to fanboy all over this here. I absolutely love this song. Absolutely love her version of this song. Again, I am just so very happy to hear that everything went well for her. That is such a relief to her fans, to her friends, her family. Everyone's, everyone has got to be relieved by that. She is such an amazing talent. And from what I hear, it sounds like she is an amazing person as well. Great mother, great wife. So that comes first before, you know, my my love of, of listening to her sing. It's all of the little things that matter more so than that. So I am very glad that she is doing well. And in case you saw me semi-distracted over here, my other dog, Mia, she popped up over here and she is curled up right here next to me. That is who you see in many of my thumbnails that I've been doing lately. So that is Mia. Let's get back. Yes, yes, yes. Give a quick little pause here. I remember the first time hearing this song, and it got to this point. And I was a little confused, I'll say that. I, I've not really seen songs and performances like this where you have a song that in the middle of the song, the band leaves. Then they come back later and they keep going with. The, the music playing in between. Nothing wrong with that at all. But it, it threw me at first. And I have really come to love this song. Got to see them perform this live a few years back. It was a smaller club over here. Not one of these larger venues. Definitely not anything like a Vakken. Which is still on my list of things that I must get to and be dragging evil chicken along with me as well because we both seriously want to get to that hopefully before we get too much older so we can enjoy it a little bit better let's keep going here let's go through this little break <laughs> Forgive me if you see me here with my eyes closed a little bit. I'm not falling asleep. I'm just taking it all in.
like the slow build here. The anticipation you get from that. It's just her vocal versatility is what drew me to this group. I only somewhat recently, I, I say recently, but now it's been, what was it, 2018, I think is when I saw them in concert. So it was probably six months or so prior to that, maybe when I first started listening to them. And was like, these guys are really good. And it was her voice that, that hooked me and got me to where I'm like, I got to see them. And thankfully, there it was. They were back. They were here. And I'd never seen them before. Never heard of them. I don't know why. I just never really watched a lot of YouTube and got to see these other groups other than stuff that was on the radio around here. And there's so much more out there. Once I started going down that YouTube rabbit hole, oh, I have found some amazing music. And these guys might be, I try not to classify a favorite group because I know when, as I was younger, I always used to have this favorite group that you'd be really passionate about, you'd listen to all the time. And then for me, that got to be like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Move on to another one. And so I don't want to do that now. So I don't go, I try not to go to the same, see the same concerts over and over and over again. Nothing against people that do. You do you. It was just that I wanted to get to know more groups, hear more groups, see more groups. But this is a group that I would classify as my favorite group at this point in time. Because of the talent that they have, the amazing songwriting abilities of Thomas. He is truly a composer of our day. And the vocals of one Miss Flory Anson. Absolutely amazing to hear. She just has this way of just absorbing the music and letting it all flow out of her so that you are right there taking that ride along with her and with the group. It's amazing. It is just amazing to, to hear. So anyway, I'm sorry. I don't even know where I was going with that. I was just the ramblings of a fanboy. Let's get back. Let's hear more. 
There's some more amazing stuff coming. go back over here and we'll talk about it okay Nightwish ghost love score that's the song that really amazed me and got me looking for more from this group it's just the power of her voice the the range of her voice that note at the end that she hits I was I was completely floored by it. Okay. Bad bad dad joke slash pun, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, absolutely love that. Absolutely. And I am very, very happy again. Very happy that she is doing well and got through everything and positive thoughts go out to her and her family and her friends and everyone around her very happy let me know your thoughts down below let me know some other 
suggestions that you have. It's been a while since I've done Nightwish on here. I've heard a lot of Nightwish at this point in time, so I don't even know what would be a reaction at this point. I know there's still several that I I haven't heard. There's no possible way I have gotten through their entire their entire library. I just know that the at least definitely the last couple albums. I know I've heard all of those and absolutely love this this Vakken concert. If I had a time machine and, and could go back to see a concert, this would definitely be right at the top of that list. So let me know your thoughts. I hope everybody out there is doing well. I Again, I apologize. I haven't been around for a while. It's been, it's, it's been a rough a little bit of time here, but I'm getting through that and I am hoping to try to get myself back into the swing of things. Unfortunately, there, there's still unknown things ahead of me that I don't know where that's going to go. But that's why you take things a day at a time, right? That's what I want to try to do here on this channel, and I want to get back to just hearing some more of this amazing music that's out there. I've I have such a long library right now of watch later of things that pop up on my YouTube as some new music that comes out. I'm like, oh, I am not going to watch that right now. I'm going to hit that as a watch later and then I'll do a reaction video to it. Now it's become an overwhelming hurdle or overwhelming mountain of videos that I want to try to start getting through. And also get back to some of your reactions as well. I'm sorry, some of your suggestions as well. And I'm going to start moving forward with the metal from around the world. And see what else I can come up with. I'm trying to get back to my weekly Twitch streams. In which I do some gaming on there. I'm still trying to figure that one out though. So if you do happen to come join me. Don't expect a lot yet until I have it figured out because I still I still don't know how some people do what they do when I'm seeing some of their videos where they're playing games and talking about something other than the game. I get to the point where I can concentrate on the game or I can talk. So I'm still trying to figure that out. But I will. I'll figure something out. Anyway. Thank you guys again. A like, comment, subscribe. Click on that little bell if you want to know when I have a new video out. It's always appreciated. It's never pressure. And please, be good to each other out there. Things are getting crazy. We need less crazy and more good. I know, I'm guilty myself of some of the craziness but sometimes I try, and I need to try more often. Please stay safe and healthy. A world with you in it is a better world. And, oh, sorry, now I've got, now Tabby came up to say hi. Um, that was sudden and unexpected. But please, keep your eyes to the sky, because you never know what you might see. Never know when a dog might jump up on your lap. I think she's trying to tell me that it's time to go outside. I don't know why she's shaking. Usually that means there's thunder, but there hasn't been any thunder. And it's not supposed to rain for the next few days. So, who knows. But I will get her and my other dogs outside. You guys have yourself a good day. Until next time, everybody, take care. Mm -hmm.